I am so cute. I don't even know <laughs> what hair shape this is. <laughs> okay. Um, morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Fukuoka day three. It's our third and last full day before we fly home to Manila tomorrow. I am sad. It's a super uh, rainy and cold morning. I woke up at quarter to eight so I could go downstairs and buy us some 7-Eleven coffee, fresh and hot. But when I looked out, it was super rainy. Our Airbnb genius Gordon leaves even umbrellas in the closet. I grabbed an umbrella, wore my thermal and my overcoat, and then I went to 7-Eleven and got us some hot coffee from that hot shelf that all of you guys seem to have enjoyed my reaction to during our first day in Japan. I got my the Georgia Farmer's Choice Black Coffee. It looks really, really good. And last night, I was able to get myself my favorite, a small pack of Calbee Frugula. This is the fruit granola, and I got the winter fruits because, I mean, come on, it's winter. Might as well get the winter fruits. So I'm gonna have the granola with my Japanese yogurt that I bought the other day. So today is gonna be all about eating. Trina is researching on the best restaurant to get mackerel from. I'm going to try the Tokiyaki ball stand that's near the house because I've been staring at him creepily for the past two nights. We'll hit the outlet that's really far away. The outlet we hit up yesterday was the one that was more accessible on a Sunday via bus, whereas this one, it's gonna take a little bit longer for us to get there. But apparently, it's a really, really good outlet. There are a lot of brands there, different stores that weren't in the first outlet that we went to. How are you guys enjoying my pajamas, by the way? Super sexy and attractive, I know. Contain yourselves, people. And I would like to take this moment, if we could all just pause whatever it is that we're doing, for a quick moment of silence for my pimple. It survived the journey to Japan, and it was with us for the past two days. But, my dear friends, it has passed. It popped last night, and now it's a crusty corpse of what it once was. I definitely need coffee and food. I'm not making sense. This is such a welcome treat because it is so warm. When you guys go to Japan, please just do me a favor. Go to a 7-Eleven and go to a hot shelf and just touch the coffee. It will blow your mind. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat my yogurt and I'll see you guys again in a bit. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm all made up and dressed and ready to go. We're gonna hit up Canal City for a bit because mom saw this wallet that she wants to buy. And then after that, we're gonna walk to this restaurant that serves really, really good sushi and mackerel. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna have a quick lunch and then we're gonna go to the outlet that's about an hour and a half away from where we're staying right now. Spend a couple of hours there and then come back, have dinner, and then go to Don Quixote to get some pasalubong for everybody. It's quite cold outside so we are all dressed pretty warm. I've got this long sleeve turtleneck from Stradivarius and then I've got my Uniqlo thermal underneath. I've got some Uniqlo velvet culottes. I've got some long socks on and then I'm gonna put on my coat, my gloves, and my sneakers. On my face, I'm just using my usual Glossier combo except I've got Lancome eyeliner on and I've got this Tarte liquid lipstick in the shade Birthday Suit. I got this for free in Sephora in Malaysia and I love it. It's got like this minty effect and it's just a nice nude. We're ready to go. This is our last full day here in Fukuoka. I'm really sad. I, I love Japan. Like I just, I genuinely love Japan so, so much. Hello everyone. We're sharing an umbrella. Trina's got her own umbrella. We're about to cross to get to Canal City. On our third and last day, we figured out the quickest route to Canal City. <laughs> Apparently we had been going through the long cut. Whereas what Gordon was saying about it being three minutes away, he was right. <laughs> it's raining and you know what? It's not bad. I mean, it's freezing beyond belief, but it's not bad. Love, by the way, how the pedestrian crossing has music. So you sort of have that cue like, okay. And guys, look, I don't know if you can see this, but <sighs> our breath, there's smoke. We're gonna find that store that has mom's wallet. It's so cold. <sighs> Fine for me, that's all. I ask you do Don't erase Mom's at her wallet store Gina and I are enjoying the view You can actually see the water from here And it's really nice and cold The mall is empty I think that's because everybody's at work No one's really shopping <sighs> It's so cold We just finished at the store that mom 
wanted to get her wallet from. Trina got a couple of things too. And now we're on our way to Muji. We're gonna buy some of those matcha chocolate covered strawberries for Pasalubong. And I might buy a couple of ball pens too. And then after this, we're gonna go back to the Airbnb, drop off our stuff, have lunch, and then we're gonna go to that outlet. So we've got a busy day today. We're gonna do everything that we possibly can to maximize today. It's still raining, but according to Trina, the forecast says it'll stop at around 1 p.m. So we're hoping that by 1 p.m. the rain will stop so that it'll be easier for us to get around and walk around Fukuoka. We're so near Muji. Y'all know, I love me some Muji. Tita hits for life. <laughs> Muji for the nth time. Muji books. How awesome is that? And here's my adorable mother. Come on, let's go to the food. I genuinely wish that Muji was this big in the Philippines. Don't you think? Muji is quite expensive back home, but I mean, with all of these treats. Ooh, that looks good. Muji done. I got my beautiful wallet. Yay! We're now gonna go to the tax refund counter. That's where Trina needs to drop off a couple of receipts, Mama as well. And then we're gonna check out Uniqlo. And then we're gonna go back to the apartment, drop off our stuff, have lunch, and then head to the outlet. I am so happy with my Muji stuff. Refund counter is in the first floor. So we have to go to the first floor. Look at me navigating my way through Canal City as if I've been here like a million times. Oh. We're done with our Canal City shopping. Everybody's got their treats. I went into Uniqlo as well and got the JW Anderson sweater that I had been wanting for such a long time. And it came out so much cheaper here in Japan and they had my size and they had the color that I wanted. Such a great start to this day. We're making really good time. We are walking back to the apartment. We have the shorter route down Pat now. So we're gonna drop off our stuff, use the bathroom, and then we're gonna make our way towards the restaurant that we're eating at for lunch and then after that we're gonna hit up the train station so we can head to the outlet that we have been talking about basically the entire trip it's been a great day are you guys having fun yeah yep. hopefully you guys are enjoying these vlogs as well and they're informative at the same time because i know that you could probably play a drinking game with how many times i say the words so excited, happy, fantastic, OMG. It's my first time in Japan, so cut me some slack, guys. I gotta get the room key for our apartment now. See you guys again in a bit. We made it through the cold, and now we're waiting for our train, and our stop is Akasaka. Akasaka. And it's gonna be a couple of stops, and then how long of a walk? Like five minutes? Like about a five minute walk and we're trying to make it to their special lunch set because their lunch set closes at 2 p.m. According to Trina, she read in an article that they're gonna stop this famous lunch set come Feb 25. We're right on time in trying out this special lunch set. There's sashimi, there's tempura, there's rice I think or noodles and a bunch of other stuff. I am so ready to eat. I had the frugula in yogurt for breakfast and it filled me up really well but now I'm just like... Give me food! <laughs> Side note, pimple's dead. Still crusty, but it's dead. And uh, I can't feel my hands. Silence is a thoughtless way to let go Then to face me I wasn't always the To the Japanese restaurant. This is one that we were reading up about that there's an island in the middle. All of the live seafood are swimming around there. That's so that they can show you just how fresh the seafood is. I'm gonna get their famous lunch set. I might get the one with the udon noodles and there's some tempura in it. And then Trina's gonna order us some mackerel. I'm so excited finally. We get to have the sushi because we're having all the cooked dishes but none of the sushi. I'm very excited about it. Yeah. This, this restaurant's ridiculous. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna take more clips so you guys can see it. Look at how gigantic these lunch sets are. Mom's just arrived. Look at that. Uh, so mom's got her sashimi. She's got her tempura soup and a bunch of other stuff for her lunch set. That looks amazing, mom. 
Yep, it does. In this restaurant, people really do just get the lunch sets. I mean, sobrang sulit siya, if you think about it. It's 1,500 yen, which is not bad. Epic, that looks epic. And mine has noodles, but mom said that we would split it. That's why we're getting the two different ones. Ah, this looks so good. Finally, I get my sushi and tempura fix. My lunch set arrived and it looks insane. So I've got my miso soup. Got a couple of sauces for my cold soba noodles. I've got my tempura. I've got, I think this is those puddings, right? Those egg. Kawanushi. Yeah, pudding. I've got some sweet potatoes. I've got some fried rice, and Trina ordered us this. This is called fatty tuna. Yeah? Toro. So it's called toro. Yeah. And everybody's got their set, and I am so ready to eat this. Yum, 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 yum. And we thought our um, lunch sets were a lot. Trina ordered us fresh seafood. Thank you so much. So beautiful. Comfort. Shimaji. Horse meat. So look at all this food. Tina ordered us this uh, sashimi platter, the toro. Got my entire carb lineup, and uh, this is ridiculous. Thanks, Tran, for the sashimi platter. It's a party in my mouth. It's so good. Everything is so good. It is so fresh. Wow. Lunch done, everything has been consumed, and we are all at that wonderfully beautiful state of the semi food coma. We're relaxing for a little bit more, then we're trying to see how we're gonna get to the outlets if we're gonna take a bus or if we're gonna take a train. There's also a Starbucks outside, and if you guys have seen my Bangkok vlogs, then you will know how much we love Starbucks in other countries. Might check that out and see what kind of coffee they have over there. We have to go to the GR station. The main station. So from Gion, we can take that to get to that station. We go to the JR Kagoshima, approximately 20 minutes back. We're figuring it out. The next time you guys will see us, we'll either be in the outlet or we'll be at home sleeping. We shall see. Hey guys, we managed to make it to... Where are we? JR? The JR station, right? So from Aka... From Akasaka, we made our way back to the JR line, so we ended up transferring trains, and now we're just waiting. We booked the rapid train, so it's less stops, at 560 yen each, and that's going to take us straight to the Tosu Premium Outlets. That's the outlet that we've been wanting to check out this entire trip. Luckily enough, we did not enter this train. <laughs> we thought that that was our train, but then I ended up asking that kind man. He told me next train, and then this man behind us who works for JR Line said that it's the next train at 2.44. So now we've got 10 minutes. We're just going to wait. We're going to chill out. Once we get down at Tosu, there are going to be different buses that we can take, and those buses will take us directly into the uh, outlet compound. Lunch was so good. We still haven't had a bad meal here in Japan, and I don't think we're ever going to have a bad meal here. Trina, thank you once again for the sashimi plate. It was so good. It was, right? It was really, really good. Very, very fresh, very light. We ate so much, but we're not sickly, and I don't feel like I ate a lot. Like, I'm full, I'm satisfied, but I don't feel like I want to vomit. Yeah? We've made it to Tosu, which is our stop. Now we have to figure out how to get to the bus. I guess it's directly downstairs, right? I mean, we can just go down and see. All right, so we're going down the stairs. We're exiting Tosu, and then we're gonna hop on a bus. It's gonna be about 15 minutes to get to the outlets. We're just following the crowd. <laughs> Elevator to exit, yeah. Talk about an adventure. I told you guys we were gonna maximize our time here. Just waiting for our bus, which is scheduled to arrive at 3.25. We're gonna try not to freeze to death. 
We're inside the bus that says to Tosu Premium Outlets. Now we have to prepare our fare of 210 yen. Remember when I said earlier, guys, that to get to this outlet it's gonna take about an hour and 30 minutes? That's apparently by bus and bus alone. But we took the train, which is why it was a 35 minute train ride, and then it's gonna be a 15 minute bus ride. So, all in all, it's about 15 minutes to get to Tosu Premium Outlets. We're making good time, it's 3.25. We're going to finish off at the outlets by 7 because the bus comes back for us at 7.43. We have to take the bus at 7.43 back to the station and then from there go back to Hakata and go back to our Airbnb. I am so ready to check out this outlet. I really hope it's good. to the Tosu Premium Outlets. And I gotta say, it's gigantic. I mean, I was so excited with the outlet that we went to yesterday, but this one is so much bigger. There's even like one whole building just for food. And Trina says that it looks like the outlets in the States. There are brands like United Colors of Benetton, Adidas, Nike, Coach, Ray-Ban, Brooks Brothers, Timberland. Everything is here. It's so pretty too. Can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm a little scared for my credit card though. I feel like it's gonna get swiped. Outlet's huge. I mean, I thought the one yesterday was big. This one's gigantic. There's even a Ray-Ban shop. Where do you guys want to go first? I'm going to go to information and ask for a coupon. Okay. Rina's going to go to information and find out about our coupons. So, Mom and I are going to go into Ray-Ban. A book I had to close, I can't read you anymore. To strengthen the wisdom already successfully bought something that I needed to buy. I can't show it though, but I was able to get something that I didn't think I would be able to get in Japan and that makes me the happiest girl ever. I unfortunately can't vlog inside the shops because no cameras are allowed, but I just gotta tell you guys, if you're willing to make the trip, it is worth it. There's a champion store right in front of me. There's a Ralph Lauren home and Michael Kors, but we're entering coach first. Lord help my credit card. My treat. Would you like a Godiva? <laughs> Gina and I have reached that point where we're on a bench outside the store waiting for mom. Go mom! Big spender, mom. Trina's bought absolutely nothing for herself. It's weird. It's sort of like me during the Bangkok trip, except I went bananas at the airport. We're really curious to try the subway here. We just keep eating. Yeah. We're not even hungry, but we eat. <laughs> I want a coffee too. It's five o'clock before How tired we have to. We are, we will be. <laughs> That's right. And we technically still have two hours before we, we have to go. Go. The two only outlets in Fuku. <laughs> in two we days. To Take note, today we were so chill. Pa. Yeah. We woke up, we had breakfast, <laughs> went to Canal City, and then after that we <laughs> ate lunch in the really far sushi <laughs> place. That we were like, oh yeah, let's just try it. Yeah, why not? And then now we're here <laughs> at the other end of the world. You know what? We should call this trip instead. It should be hashtag Sulitin ang Fuku. <laughs> I really want a good dive of hot chocolate, but it's 500 yen. It's 250. That's so expensive, though, right? But it's really good. Like life changing. You should try it. it comes with because it. it comes with speckless cookies. Yep. I've tried it in the U.S. But I've got some little money left. <laughs> Actually, no. I still have um my credit card. <laughs> Shout out to BDO. What's up, BDO? Holla at your girl. <laughs> BDO. Hit a girl up. Trina wants to try some Subway. We got a sandwich. Mom and I have decided to split. We went for the smoked salmon and mascarpone cheese with basil sauce that is just, I can't even. And then we've got some oven roasted potatoes in the cheese flavor. We're not even hungry though. What is this? Okay, 10 pounds, get in my body. Turns out we missed the bus that we were supposed to get because we ate in Subway 
we ended up missing the 522 bus, so we had to wait for the 622 bus. And then now that we're back in the JR station, the next train that goes to Hakata leaves at 717 and it's only like 640, so we've still got time. So we decided to pass by this cute little French bakery. We're gonna have some coffee. We have to wait it out and I mean, the station's right upstairs, so we already know where to go. So this is the cafe. It's really cute in here. Might get these guys, so it's good. I ended up getting the fromage bun. Look at that. And then I got a hot coffee. Trina has her coffee and mom has her curry donut. Now we just have to wait for our train. We're not even sure if we're on the right train. We went running around. A kind Japanese man helped us and he told us that this was our train, but we're still not sure. 2,000 years later. We made it back to Hakata Station and we are alive. It turns out that we were on the wrong train. We weren't on the rapid train, but the conductor was so sweet. When we reached a certain stop, he uh, went to us where we were seated and he said for us to transfer trains. So we transferred trains and then now we're here in Hakata. We bought tickets because we're gonna go to, to, to Don Quixote. Got new tickets, new train, here we go. Are you okay? Mom's low bad. It was a really stressful running. I wish I vlogged it. A few moments later. And we're going up to Don Quixote itself. And we're gonna do some shopping before going to Family Mart to get a light dinner. And then going back to the Airbnb. Whoa. Let's get this shopping on the road, shall we? This place is insane. Don Quixote looks like they crammed 5 billion things into the tiniest of uh, faces. Lovely. And that's our last day in Fukuoka. Sorry I didn't get to vlog the last part, guys. It was absolutely manic. We were carrying over like 10 pounds of food each. And that's basically all the pasalubong and stuff that we bought for everybody back home. We were frantically running back to the Airbnb to drop off all of the stuff before buying food. I just went for a chicken and this onigiri burger from 7-Eleven. There's no point in looking for another place to eat when there's a 7-Eleven so near the Airbnb. But yeah, that does it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as well. And all of the Fukuoka vlogs. Last vlog is tomorrow. That's when we go home. I'm just gonna eat because it's currently 11.05 in the evening here. Pretty late for dinner, but it's okay. We're just all happy to be back safe and sound. So yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment down below of your favorite convenience store food. I wanna know. Let us know. Comment it down below and we'll see you guys again soon. Bye! 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 <laughs> Bye! Thank you.